235, 55, R19, hup, hup. Yeah, sounds like a quarterback cadence, but it's actually this tire size. Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. We're talking about tire sizes and tire designations. Let's look at a tire and what's going on inside of there. You can see it for the actual bead, the tread, the sidewalls. There's a lot happening. I actually have one right here. You can see the bead down here. You can see the actual plies in there. And then the tread section's located right there. Now, as far as reading those tires, the old alphanumeric system, you had FR7014, your old trailer, stuff like that. You can see the load rating. It was a radial, 70 is the aspect ratio, and then the rim diameter. But what we're dealing with today, this is the P metric system. And you can see here, the P stands for passenger. If it was a T, it would be temporary. LT is light truck and C is commercial. That next number, 215, that's the section width across that tread area. Then you have that aspect ratio. You heard a little bit earlier, that's the section height by the width. I can kind of make an illustration for you. If it was a 50 size tire, it would be 50% high as it is tall, kind of like a square. Then you got the R as a radial construction, 15 is the rim diameter, 89 is the load index, and H is the speed symbol. So there's a lot going on when we talk about tires. Now we have to understand a little bit about them to retire. So feathering, that kind of a alignment issue with toe there. Overinflation, you can see in the middle it's poking up and it's going to wear in the middle. Under inflation, it's flat wearing on both sides. One side wear I have right here, which is pretty cool. That's an alignment camber issue. And the last one on there is cupping or chunking. You know, Len, tires are designed for specific applications like our Toyota here. This is a six ply tire because it's a front wheel drive and it's kind of a crossover. Oils do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. More so now than any time before. The oils are very, very specific to the equipment they're being put in. For example, we've got specialty product for each different series of equipment. We make a marine oil. Well, those things live in the water, so we add a little bit of rust and corrosion protection to make sure that that water isn't you know, causing problems inside the engine. Another example is our high mileage oil. For vehicles older than 75,000 miles, well, they might have some deposits. You know, they could have some leaking. So we add extra detergency and some seal conditioner to help with that. Now Z-Rod, this is also a specialty oil. It is, that one's, that's kind of a cool one because Z stands for zinc and that's flat tap of camshaft. So now we're into the hot rods. Absolutely love it. You know, tires are designed for special needs and applications. So are lubricants. To find the best choices for your vehicle, go to amsoil.com.